We're with uh, Ryan Thrushman in the new John Deere 1790 or 1775 NT. Exact emerge. Exact emerge. Ryan's gonna show us a few of the new features. Uh, first, we'll go over our the new row unit, row unit here. Um, as you can see, one design change is that uh, using a brush bowl instead of a flat disc, and it's mounted in a different direction. If I take it over here. See our plate design there. It is, uh, it's, it's actually got 60 holes in it, but every other one is filled with the corn plate. The okay. soybean plate is uh, the exact same bowl except with all the holes open. And it uses this knockout wheel that's in here on the cover, and it's spaced out for the 60 holes, and it just goes in that empty spot. So that's what pushes the uh, seed into the brush belt. Take the cover off. So you will have a rumble strip on the bottom here. And that's your first line of singulation. And then the next step is these three brushes up here for the double eliminator. Then after that, we have our brush belt right here where it okay. makes a contact. And as you can see, it just slides right in there. So that knockout wheel on the other side of the bowl pushes that seed into that brush. And the delivery system takes it down to the bottom of the seed trench. As far as any adjustment to the eliminators or are these uh, automatic? No, there's there's a, a little adjustment right here. You can see I can move it there a little bit. Um, all the way down basically for soybeans and you got a little adjustment there for corn. So for different corn sizes you don't have to uh, readjust it? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, now I've removed the uh, the actual row, row unit or the, the hopper unit itself. And we got one more little stuff we can take this cover off. And you can now see both of the motors on here. We have one for the uh, bowl drive and then one for the brush belt drive. Are these the same motors? The same motor. They're both a 60, or uh, not 60, a 56 volt uh, motor. Um, it, it is a larger motor than what you've seen on some other ones. It's a maintenance free motor. Um, the one nice thing is with that higher voltage we have less amps. So as you can see, there's a plug that runs the whole thing. We're not running very large gauge wire to run these motors. But uh, so far, everything I've taken apart has been with no tools. And the next step is to actually take the row unit out. And just pulls up and unplug your seed sensor. It comes out completely like that. cover that pops off and I have one that's already open here. Okay. And there's the inside of the brush belt. As you can see we have seed. There's one there. Oh, there's another one right there. There's one right there. But they get pinched in that against the side. Okay. As they come down, you know, they're spitting out. on the bottom here we have a little basically piece of metal here a little angle piece to, to brush the bristles just to get any dirt that's out of them um, and then up here is the seed sensor and to actually remove the belt there's one more little uh, clip at the bottom here pull that cover off and then there's a cam lock on the back side we loosen that cam up, and now I can pull this bell right out of the cartridge. So if we have any issues with anything, it's all pretty much done without any tools. Fairly soft bristle. Yes. Um, 
so an option we don't know I mean it's only approved for corn and soybeans right now but we may see a different brush style for different crops can't tell you right now what what the what the next crops are going to be but I know they're looking in the sugar beets so I don't know if we'll have a change of brush we'll definitely have a change of a different bowl but uh, I, I think that would hold some beet seed. Now why do you need a brush? Okay so John Deere's philosophy is with the brush okay well let's go back to our basic our, our standard row unit so we've, we've had that uh, uh, Maximerge XP out for a few years now. Now we have Maximerge 5, which is basically an updated version of the, uh, the XP, and it just makes some common parts between uh, five bu or no, uh, three bushel hopper, bushel and a half, and the, and the Pro Series. So now they all basically have interchangeable parts. Um, but with that design, you have that seed tube, that curved seed tube. And that curve is designed for five mile an hour to get that perfect seed placement. Um, and you don't have that variability with the brush that if you go faster or slower it's going to keep that same seed spacing or even at five mile an hour on this, this seed tube if you get any amount of a bounce you can that can mess up your your seed spacing what translates on the ground you may have a good simulation at your seed sensor up top but what is it actually putting down the ground with the brush belt you're taking the same basically about the same location for your seed sensor but then it's taking that delivery, handing it off right about, you know, two inches from your seed trench. So you lose a lot of that variability and that bounce or okay. speed. The other thing is that it is moving at the same speed as your planter uh, is forward, as it is moving backwards. So it's actually propelling the seed out the back. Um, and I can show that later. We can do a row unit, uh, row unit runoff and you can see the seed come out. Um, but basically, that, that with that going the same speed as you are going forward, it's a, a canceled velocity, so it's a dead drop, putting it right down in the trench. Okay. Very good. Thanks for showing us the the working components here of this new planner.